Select your agent. Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. Tonight we have WCU of Western Colorado University taking on Emporia State University. We're starting out here on Haven. WCU will be attacking first. And uh, go for it. I'm Mountain Man. I'm JoJo's Mojo. <laughs> and as I was about to say, these teams are tied for second place right now, both going 3-1. and one. WCU only having a slight edge, having lost one fewer map this semester. Yeah. So, going to be a great matchup. Probably going to be a long one, as I... I mean, as I say that now... We'll, probably see this end up being short because of the commentator's curse <laughs> absolutely we're we'll see i'm excited this should be a good one valorant has definitely been kind of hit or miss their one loss was still a close game but kind of the rest of the games they've they've shown up wcu is looking good this year for valorant and as you see, Mixu with the candy cane, I think slumped as well, maybe has the candy cane. And this is the first time, I think, this semester that we'll actually have the view of both teams so we can actually see when fights will happen. That is true. And we see... Boo trying to get some early picks here, not able to find anyone. Instead, falling in terms of health fairly far and fairly fast. And with this one specifically, WCU likes to push C the most. Slump getting the first kill of this series as they find Crouton, which is a salad topping. That's a solid name right there. That is. That is a snack and a half if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like WCU is grouping up together and pushing, pushing point A. And ESU staying on their side, like staying on their points real fast while we start to see a migration over. As WCU quickly takes control of this point and is up 5-3 to three for this round. Spike has been planted, so it's going to be interesting what happens here. And ESU going to look to try and get some kills here on WCU as Noble picks off Zook. And that's a two kill. A flawless victory for first round. Ism's getting two kills at the end there. Almost falls, but I think that we're playing solid. That was a good team push there by WCU. Kind of starting spread out and then deciding just to push one side and just slowly picking them off that's definitely a good strategy there here in valorant and that first round is always the, almost always the most difficult for teams to get wins with especially if they're not confident with how they play namely with pistols because you just have a pistol absolutely ism leading the mountaineers with three kills there wcu pushing hard left here and we can see ESU almost on the com on the opposite of that, pushing fairly hard right. Yeah, the Mountaineers getting an early spike plant. Looking for that fast spike plant and then for that fast attack with ESU as Boo quickly picks off Crouton. And Crouton mostly focused on the chicken wings they were talking about before the match started. <laughs> A bad thing though, as we see Noble go one on one with a with Pa, and Boo gets another pick on the punch. Four, five on two now for this new five on one. Never mind, five on oh, as Mixu and Boo both pick off the remainder of the ESU. Good play there by the Mountaineers. Mountaineers go up 2 0 so far. And it is a first to seven. So. A 2-0 lead can start you off right, but if you're not smart with how you play it, that can also be your downfall, because you could get a little overconfident. Is it 7 or 13? I thought it was first to 7. I think it's best of 13. Or, no, it's probably 13. I'm, just, I'm thinking 13. I think it's 13, I think it's, yep. It's R6. That is, that is 13. R6, R6 is 7. seven. Yep. 
my mind's already <laughs> on Tuesday night, and it's only Monday. We have started out this week very strong. Apparently. WCU pushing point A yet again. And ESU reacting much faster this time as we see. I mean, WC is still going to get that fast plant here in just a second with Mixu, or with, I believe that is slumped. Isms finds Hotshot. First death of WCU coming so far. Crouton picking off one of Western. I believe it was Isms who got picked. And the spike has been planted. WCU looking for maybe someone to try and come around that backside as... Ooh, slump oh, slump just peeks the wrong corner and gets picked off Unfortunate there. Cruzon. Clearly he can't see what we can see, so <laughs> that's that's not ideal. <laughs> oh, we do see. I think that is Isms or Mixu going around the back trying to find someone. Mixu does find Zook. One there, Gru finds Crouton on the backside. And that spike is going to be plant. A t another team kill. 3-0 very early for the Mountaineers. And WC is doing a good job of uh, honestly just planting the spike early. They're attacking the point if they need to, trying to get that first kill and getting an early plant in. I think what would be smartest for WCU here is maybe switch things up. Triangle B. They've gone A C A, so either go back to A or going over to B this time would be the smartest fast attack. But yeah. that is just my opinion as someone who does not play this game. I feel you there, I mean Whatever works, works, I suppose. Looks like WCU's gonna be pushing C again. And with that, I think ESU's already getting prepared to send two around the backside this time, instead of just the one. WCU gonna get in here. Washout finds a pick on Mixu, and Isms gets them back. May finds Noble, so WCU down three on four for this fight. Spike does get planted. WC just needs to hold off for the rest of this round now. And looking Placing like swamp grenade. Placing swamp and grenade. Slump covering that backside, or Slump, or they're just oh, off of point. No. This isn't going to be a distraction. This is going to be a quick double kill there. It does get picked off by Crouton, but leaving two on two. With WCU in a little bit of a third point there, which is... Ooh, just getting that pick that is... ESU is going for the spike. Where are you? And it looks like ESU is actually going to let the spike go off. Everyone's starting to back off point, and it will go off here just in a second. WCU wins four straight. Both Ism and Boo. Looking good for the Mountaineers. Boo with six kills, Ism with seven, and the rest of the team with two. Even then, that's not bad for only four rounds in. Each player showing that they want to carry out, carry their own weight. And there is a timeout coming from ESU. I think they need to take this reset really fast. Just slow the slow the Mountaineers' pace. But what do you do here if you're the Mountaineers? How do you keep that momentum with a one-minute timeout? <sighs> Honestly, Mountaineers are doing good. I don't think this timeout's going to phase them. I think it's more what ESU is trying to figure out. Um, I could definitely see them kind of breaking down. Maybe they pull their people off of B just because WCU has been going A and C and kind of stack those two sides. It's tough. WCU is just kind of winning the gunfights, and that's that's all it takes. And historically here on this map layout specifically where there is an A, B, C, and even just on Haven alone, WCU never really pushes B. They only go there if they really need to just get that touch. But until that point, I think WCU just keeps uh, favoring A and C at this for the moment. And we'll see what they end up doing here, or what ESU does to respond. Looks like they will be sending one to... A or two to A and oh, they're gonna send one A, one B, and three on to C. Or no, it's gonna be two on to B as they keep splitting just, up. There's a just lot moving. of pathways they're here. They're moving, <laughs> keeping us on our feet. I think they might send a bunch. Ooh, down WCU the Mixu pushing B. That's a that's a new pick. Mixu's presence does get detected, but w probably just gonna try and stall on B here. And WCU does look like they're mostly pushing A. Ooh, this is a good strategy here from uh, ESU. Essentially, not going out in the open, just waiting for WCU to make essentially reveal themselves. 
I, I want to say that's probably what was discussed by ESU in their timeout. And now you can see ESU all scrambling to get over towards A. Whoever that, whoever that is, labeled number five, is just waiting for a moment to sneak around the back line. Face your fear. They are. Yes, you looking good here. Yes, you knows WCU is going A here. Ooh, good hot pick shot. There. That doesn't matter to Isms though. Even though ESU knows where they are, Isms just wants to push oh. WCU Ooh. as there's a quad kill. There's the team kill from the defenders, ESU, using that timeout to their advantage. That was and a great timeout, absolutely. I mean, you gotta give them credit, timeouts well are difficult. Yeah, so kind of what we saw there is uh, ESU was just patient, you know? Definitely in those first couple rounds are trying to attack early and WCU is just punishing them for that. That round, ESU just kind of waited until WCU showed where they were going and then they all just kind of swarmed in and yeah, we will see if WCU can respond to to that change up i mean the issue there is that wcu just also waiting for esu to reveal themselves but it's you really can't do much when neither team wants to reveal i know Ooh. You see a lot of people holding their angles in the middle it looks D like everyone's going to be holding the middle trying to get something here yeah we haven't seen wcu push b yet but kind of appears they're doing so this time it's a risky play for sure. Oh, Ooh, and May gets a quick pick off on Isms. I think ESU now more cautious of B than A or C. Uh, as Boo tries to find some picks through the wall. Ooh, and Crouton moves flawlessly. Oh, he was slumped there. He's trying to look. Oh, oh. Mixu Ooh, does find Crouton, good. Crouton Kill. does find Boo, and Hotshot finding Mixu there. It is now a two on four in ESU's favor. Ooh, two on three as Slump quickly changes that with a pick on Hotshot. They need a lot of cover here. And gets it from Noble. Noble does get picked, and there goes Slump. That's going to be a quick defuse for ESU. That it is. ESU has turned the tables here, now making it a 4-2 game after the sixth round. I think they just wanted to show now that, sure, WCU got that early lead, but they're not going to go down without a fight, and they deserve that tie for second place right now. Which this very well could hold to the end of the season, one or two maps being the difference between who takes second and third. That is true. Definitely having the uh, number two and number three seed going against each other. There. Granted, we are, this is week four. Five. Yeah, the start of week five. We're starting week five. Everything so, seems so blurred together. Yeah, still still plenty of time for lots of bracket changes, but... As of right now, that's where we sit. Ooh, good shot there on KO's knife, sword. Ooh, whatever. Crouton finds Boo and makes you finding Crouton. WCU now, it's a four on four, and they're trying to get another push onto B and get that spike point, which they're going to go for right here. Zok, or Zook finds Isms. Mixu finds May. Slump finds Hot Shot something. Yeah, we have three on three now, and Spike is planted. It's a good look for WCU. Oh, Hot Shot essentially getting knocked down there and gets revived. And WCU will take round seven. There we go, WCU up 5-2. to two. Remember, this is the first of 13 win by 2, not a first of 7, that's Rainbow Six. But, first of, seven, first of 13, win by 2. Which means that, I mean, as close as you can get, you can still get held out, so... I mean, right now, I think WCU just needs to keep their momentum, and they might actually want to change up where they push, not go B three times in a row, but... B three times in a row is a pretty solid idea. Yeah, so far, WCU is kind of closer packed compared to ESU with uh, WCU's lowest scorer having four kills whereas ESU's only with one. And there it is, we see WCU starting to push C here as ESU starts to collapse in. Noble gonna wait in the back line. Ooh, Mixu finds Zook, but hot and Hotshot finds Mixu. Isn't then finding Hotshot. WCU up for the moment, four to three. As there's Noble just trying to stall out ESU as much as possible with that backline. Goes for the wrong person. Crouton on the ground gets a kill. 
Isms does find Crouton. And it's Spike has been planted. It's three to two. Three to one in favor of WCU. And there's the team kill. They just love changing things up while I'm trying to speak. Absolutely. WCU is just kind of all over the board right now, but definitely enjoys going for A and C. I'd mm -hmm. say that's definitely their strength so far. B is just a tough one, though. It's centralized. Both teams can collapse on pretty quickly. I think so. right now the best strategy is going to be for WCU to keep pushing C as they tend as ESU is tending to send two on the B and two on the A. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ism with eleven kills leading the match. And that's probably why, or no, that is Ism's not Mixu. My apologies. However, we do have a chat from Sean Glade, <laughs> fellow Rocket League captain and commentator, saying Mixu go. Greatest of all time. <laughs> a lot of fan support here in all one comment we've had on this stream. <laughs> Ooh, a quick pick on the isms from Ah. And WCU going to slowly try and slink over to A. Noble playing last back as seems to be the norm. Yeah, definitely watching the backside there. WCU looking to push A. It's going to be a 4v5. In there, I believe, it is going to be Crouton and... Oh, someone just teleported it over. Going to get that backline kill. Ooh, and it's a quick pick on the Crouton. As they do teleport behind. And there is a Killjoy coming in from ESU. Three on four... Th two on four for, uh, in ESU's favor. My lord, I cannot speak. <laughs> ESU doing a great job pushing the back line, and that will do it. ESU defusing, and they will take this map. Not going to waste any time either on the defuse. I think sometimes what you <laughs> might want to do is just, if you know your team needs a small reset, take a second while you're, excuse me, while you're defusing, pause it, get that halfway mark, and know the timing on how long you have to defuse the spike. You can use that time to then talk in chat with your team. Yeah. And figure I'm, stuff out. I'm definitely curious too. I've I don't know if it gives you more XP, more cash, like what it is, but oftentimes I see teams someone will def defuse it halfway and then give it to someone else to finish off. I don't exactly know the reasoning behind that, but I have the spike. Should probably figure that out, I suppose. More than likely at some point, but maybe yeah, tonight's not that night. My best guess right now is that if there is one person still alive on the attacking team, then they switch out who's the best shooter, as opposed to who's the Ooh, and May finds Mixu there. Boo. Finding and getting found. Slump then finding May. It is now a three on three over towards everyone coming towards A. A Killjoy coming in from WCU going to force everyone off of A from or A and B for ESU. And Killjoy, I mean, Killjoy does something to where teams don't want to be caught in it. And now WCU gonna be just playing patient. Wait to see where everyone comes in from. And it's gonna be, I believe, a firefight between Isms and Kruton here, as Noble picks off Hotshot and then finds Ah, looking to find Oh, and then Slump getting Crouton. WCU with another team kill. Yeah, WCU going up 7-3 here as we go into round 11. Two more rounds until we get a swap. This could be the difference, too. A couple rounds in WCU's favor means that they have a much easier task to defend before the end of the game. A couple rounds in ESU's favor here means that they can just take that momentum and carry it through the attack, but it all comes down to that, I believe, pistol round upon the swap. See, hear me out. Boo's, Boo has a nice, like, samurai sword. Some of these folks have candy canes. I think Ooh. one would be more efficient than the other. I the mean, same. Slump has a sniper and uses it to their <laughs> advantage, so that I think that the true. guns are probably a bit better than the knives. <laughs> I do think, though, that the sword is a lot cooler than the candy cane, but... There's something beautiful about bonking someone with a candy cane, you know? Ooh, and we see Crouton getting ready to jump in and gets found by Isms immediately. Who finds May and Isms finds Zook. WCU, yet another team kill. 8-3 to three going into round 12. Yeah, last round here before the switch. WCU will then be defending and ESU will be attacking. 
I mean, I think that WC is just, as I said, needs to carry their momentum as much as they can, and that seems to be the case for every team here at Western. Yeah. That said, I definitely do believe in Valorant in my limited experience. Uh, attacking is definitely the easier side because generally you can push as a team. You're only taking on one to two people at a time, at least early on. So, and it, essentially it's a surprise. Isms in the back gets found by awe. Something that I didn't quite expect, especially with how many Western yeah. heroes? Champions? Agents. Something. Agents. Agents, yes. With how many agents they had up front. That looks like it's going to be oh. Mixu going in, ready to find someone. Oh, Tries to get a hot get shot, unable shots. to. Unable to finish, though. And now WC looks like they're going to maybe push B, which couldn't be this which may not be the smartest as we see ESU collapsing in. WCU though does get hot shot. Hot shot is just knocked down. Boo or Mixu gets found by Zook. And I believe Hot Shot here will be revived in just a second. Boo finds Zook. Try and take out a little bit of hot shot. Does take out hot shot. May finds Noble from ES or ESU finding Noble. Boo finds May, leaving it as a two on one here. Spike planted. One enemy and Boo remaining. Yeah, Boo's gonna get found by Ah. Ah, hey, seven. The something. Scream, <laughs> the screaming sensation. As Slump is just gonna wait on this corner here. Ah's trying to find him. Tries to snipe oh, and Ah. Ooh. With that sniper. Ah, not e, ooh, that. that hurt and that does it. ESU. Will win this round. <laughs> and Sean going off in chat. Probably from something <laughs> earlier. Switching sides. Yeah, it's a little tough reading the chat. Three minutes delayed. <laughs> Three minutes delayed. <laughs> but nonetheless, now we have WCU on defense. Looking at the scoreboard, we still have Ism leading the field with 14 kills, with Boo having 12. Leading for ESU, we have Crouton with 10, followed closely by May with 9. I think right now, WCU, e much easier to get the kills, being that they were attacking first. But, I mean, right now, Western, as always, seems to be spread in terms of kills and assists, whereas the other team seems to be stacked one way or the other. Yeah, absolutely. WCU, honestly, just a pretty, uh... Oh, looks like we might have a pause... I think we do have a pause, as there was a TPing everywhere type thing from ESU. Well, going on, WCU definitely has the depth in terms of kills, because WCU's lowest kill is Noble and Slum, who both have seven. Hello. Whereas ESU, their bottom three people I'll don't go. even have seven. So, six, six, and two. Again, the wealth being shared by WCU. It's something that we see week to week with Valorant and something that we see just... Oh, and there's a disconnect from Zook on ESU. Looks like it's going to be a technical timeout while they try and sort that out. So I guess watching uh, ESU on defense, what do you think their strategy is going to be here on attack? That's going to be what we try and figure <laughs> out. I think that they'll know very quickly with what WCU's defense plan is. Yeah. I mean, Western liking to have one or two people go per area and one tend, or having, I think C and A tend to have one person, B tends to have two, and then there's C, there's almost always a floater from Western. That I is true. I like to see that. That, in my opinion, works, excuse me, much better as Western then gets the chance to move where they need to quickly and have as many people going in as possible. Right now, I think that ESU, in order to win this and take things back in control, has got a couple of very fast wins on attack. And once they do that... Ooh, look at those shots. Look at those shots, missing all but one of the... Yeah, ah, <laughs> okay, I'd be scared to go up against them. Just who's next to next to uh... That would be number two. There we go. Headshot. Let's see it. Hot shot. Oh, hot shot. 
Hot shot, not headshot. GG. As we try and wait for Zook to get back into the game, and May asking what people get at McDonald's, the opposing coach saying tacos. And Mixu not doing McDonald's. This is the first pause I've seen in uh, Valorant, actually, so it's kind of cool their uh, pause system. Oh, it looks like Zook has reconnected. So hopefully that gets us going here soon. And, but as you were saying, I'm believing that you were about to say that kind of cool that their pause system allows them to stay in their spawn, doesn't decrease the timer, and allows people to move around. Yeah, definitely most games are not like this, so Valorant... Valorant doing well there. And Zook is moving once again, so I believe we will be going in just a minute as That's So Raven asks if we are ready. Everyone now ready from WCU and ESU, so we should be good to go. And there it is. Okay, so WCU, we see fanning out. Kind of what you were saying. Two going to A. Looks like two going C and... One kind of holding that middle ground, more leaning towards C. WCU not really protecting B so far. Still 20 seconds until this round begins. But I mean, I think the smartest idea as an attack here is it is fan out, see where teams like see where a team is pushing, and if they're if neither side sees someone pushing, you can move into B fairly easy. Absolutely. And that's the best place to try and go from because then they have to figure out where all of WCU is if they don't see them at all. But it looks like we're going to have three of ESU going towards C, one going towards B, and one going towards A. Ism has sights on them, knowing that they're pushing that back line. It's going to be a competition of who has the better <laughs> headshots with pistols. Absolutely. Distance, nonetheless. <laughs> Sean Glade saying there, no Rocket League Crimson, though. No idea what that was in, re <laughs> in response to, because the three-minute delay, but... Certainly can't say no one. No one is quite like Rocket League Crimson, the team Let's that both see. communicates incessantly and never. Here we go. Looks like, like we're gonna have a fight, and Mixu goes down. May gets a quick pick off on Mixu. Looks like there's gonna be a push towards A here from ESU. I'll find you. As Boo decides to hide in some of the smoke, waiting for anyone to show up. Unfortunately, he can't see what we do. Spike planted. And there's the planted spike from ESU. WCU gonna be sending, I believe that it's Isms around back. Boo gets picked off by Crouton. Noble now sitting up top trying to find anyone. And Isms here does get May. Pretty far in that corner. I, mean, I like WCU that. WCU has to get the team kill and then get the One pick or get the remaining. get the plant or the spike diffused. Bomb One's going to be diffusing here from WCU if there's, if there's time and there's the team kill. Will there be enough time though? It's going to be close. And they yeah. get it. 2.44 2. seconds. Woo. That was a close one there for WCU, but WCU winning that first round on defense. They got to be feeling happy about that as they're only four there. more points away from there. the victory. I mean, I'd be happy with that. Even five points away from victory. That's a pretty comfy feeling going in. And you know the other team has to almost entirely reverse sweep you to try and get close to what they need to win. Absolutely. And right now, WCU, play it safe. Keep, get oh, so one or good. two better Did guns. Maybe old. not the best of all time, but get a couple guns that you're a little bit more confident with and use them to your advantage we do see isms here looking for that corner peek from anyone Ooh. may almost walking right into their line of fire Ooh. isms falls down <laughs> right in may. just long enough oh oh and does get That's may it. probably gonna tell their team to not push c especially off that main alleyway with isms being a sniper mm. Mixu also with a sniper waiting on a to see if anyone's daring to poke their head out It's definitely a very slow start here. Okay, okay, we have ESU starting to push the middle. 
I think they're going to push inside out to C. They know that they do know that um, Isms is watching that long far left lane, but they don't know where anyone else really is from WCU. And as I mentioned, they're pushing up that left to or that mid to C. Oh. And WCU now going to be collapsing in. Left. Looks like Boo might be getting into a fight. He does. Gets Crouton. Isms finding Hotshot and Zook. Gets picked up, but gets Ooh. taken out by Isms immediately. WCU up another quick round. 10-4. to 4. Good flawless victory there for the Mountaineers. Ism is popping off with 20 kills. <whistles> Whew. Beauty. Absolute beaut showing from Isms right now. Mix you at the bottom of the leaderboard for WCU. That's kind of rare. That it's is. Very, it's a little rare, yeah. But, I mean, you can't really be saying too much, though. Not that far from topping the ESU leaderboard, either. That's I mean, fair. Zook has been at two here. kills for a while here, so... That's definitely uh, benefiting WCU here. I mean, Crouton only at 11 at the moment, and that's... I mean, on attack, WCU really popped off and took as many kills as they could. Looks like ESU is going to be pushing towards B once again. WCU going to collapse in odd finding Noble. And it's going to be another team fight once again. Five on four in favor of ESU. Spike has been planted. Oh Ooh, and Crouton finds Isms there. Last player standing. Makes you okay, slump, it is fun. up to Boo a 1v5. And Boo gets found <laughs> by Ah there. Did not last very long, but... <laughs> I think that the last kill of each round, or the not the last kill of each round, but the last kill of each team gets essentially a mini cinematic from what it looks like. That's what I've been able to tell, and that's probably purely cosmetic, but... Mm, mm, yes. Did you guys come from CS? No idea what they're talking about there. Uh, CS Go. Oh, yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Pretty common transition. We have Boo here who, he just does it all. He does r <laughs> He says Rocket League. Uh, Shout out to the Rocket League boys. <laughs> yeah, Boo is, uh, he's on our Valorant team, our Overwatch team, and our R6 team. Every shooter possible for WCU right now. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't pick up Joker in Smash. <laughs> he, he dabbles in Smash from time to time. He's, he's better than you would think. I wasn't saying that he's bad. <laughs> I was just saying, surprised he's not maining Joker competitively for WCU as well. Another slow play here from ESU. And it looks like WCU is oh. more ready to go charge in towards B. Mixu, Mixu just looking for a pick again. And Crouton just... I think both teams want the other to push. And WCU, knowing that ESU has to push. That's true, that's true. That last round was interesting. ESU did a really hard push to B, and then this round is completely different. Interesting game strategy, just always switching off. Mixu just kind of gives up on that after not seeing him for a while. I mean, oh. that's a mix of pace, which isn't a bad thing. Takes Changing out his candy cane. Constantly. Oh, the candy cane's coming out. You can never be too safe with that going on. Got a lot going on over here at A. WCU knowing that they're probably going to be pushing A at this moment. Or, oh, ESU's going to fake so the push onto A rotate. and they're going to switch over to B because it's the fastest way for them to get a plant down. If we switch over to Mixu, Mixu's going to know that they're coming to B. And now WCU's going to try and get a flank on as... Oh, good ooh, kill. Slump gets found. Isms finding Crouton, though, with the assist from Slump. Boo does find Zook, so now it's going to be a fight, as there's a flank coming from Isms and Boo. Isms gets found, but also Ooh. finds Ah, Mixu and Hotshot finding them, and it is going to be a defuse from Western here to finish out the round, and they do switch off. See this? Oh. Boo's fight. just... I think you do get credits. That might okay, be it. Okay. You might get credits from yeah. that defuse. Sean Glade changing their support from Mixu to Isms. Ooh, uh, okay. That's that's harsh. That's that very harsh. harsh. Mixu is still playing amazingly. Attackers calling a timeout once again as WCU is two games away from taking the victory. I'm going to be honest. 
I don't know how many timeouts I have. <laughs> I think if you get one per side, if you're defending okay. and you're attacking, okay. you might get hey. one. Okay. Hey. Okay, Mixu was saying hey way too many times. We're, I think Mixu just knows that they're swearing. on camera. Or we're, just going to, we're going to ISM for, for Sean Glade. In honor of Sean Glade, we will switch <laughs> over to ISM's. ISM's leading the both teams right now with 22 kills. Not the fewest deaths, but it's tied for second fewest at 8. And 3 assists, fairly low in terms of assists. Noble coming in tied with May for most assists in this game. And... Crouton topping the leaderboard for ESU, but also being split a one-to-one -one KD. Which, yeah. I mean, in a game like this, that's really not phenomenal. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. I'd be much worse than they are. But that's fair. I'm, I'm always happy with a 1-0 KD. Looks like ESU is going to be trying to push over towards A again as Boo and Mixu line up to try and find anyone coming through and around that corner. We're going to see Isms waiting alone on C with Slump slowly rotating between B and C as Noble just hangs out at C alone. And yet again, a slow start from ESU. Absolutely. They've been kind of going back and forth. It's fun to watch. It looks like they are going to be pushing B here. We'll see if Noble is ready for this. Noble hmm. holding B by himself. Okay, after that, Noble's probably Ooh. telling his team to come over, and here comes Slumped. Oh, and the spike is alone on C. If we switch over to Isms here... Isms might see them and knows that they're on that they're back towards C. Gonna push over towards B now. Interesting play, having the spike carrier slowly push C while everyone's distracted with B and we are down to 2v4. 2v3 is Boo quickly corrects you there. Spike has been planted on C. And I mean that would be the strategy I have for most of these rounds is send one person who has the spike on their own. Oh, and Boo gets quickly found by Ah, so it's going to be up to Mixu. Mixu trying to redeem their friendship with Sean Glade here. <laughs> oh, it gets the reload off right in front of Ah. That is unfortunate. Playing with the candy cane too much, that's all I can don't, say. Don't use the candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> now Mountaineers still leading 11 to 6 but I mean a little bit of a comeback possibly mounting here from ESU yeah WCU still leading this uh, second half of the game 3 to 2 since the swap so still in favor of WCU but ESU I mean, is not giving up yet if it's a positive differential that's all I ask for and by positive I mean in favor of WCU as much as I give credit to the opponents, I still am a WCU supporter. This is an interesting play. We see WCU, uh, two of them pushing into the back line. Noble picks, takes out Zook with, I believe that is a shotgun. Mixu finds Hotshot right after Hotshot picks off Boo. It's like ESU is going to push C once again. Isms finds Crouton. Finds May and Isms once again. Isms is popping off 26 kills. I mean, that is a triple kill for Isms there just to keep WCU here and pushes them to match point. All WCU has to do here is let it go to, or is force it to go to time or get a team kill before the spike gets planted. Or, I mean, you know, if they just get the defuse off. But. That one's a little bit harder. Where's that candy cane? <laughs> I mean, it makes you playing with the candy cane. Get out of my way. <laughs> Sean Glade going off about being an Isms fan. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to see some of the chaos that's going on in chat, you just have to be here. If you're joining us on YouTube, watching this as a replay,
It's live on Mondays. As WCU is up three, five to two now. Oh my word! I mean, four to two, but I don't even know what happened to be honest. Just three fast <laughs> kills from WCU, putting them ahead. Gonna force a weird rush onto onto A from ESU, and there's the round win or the game win. One zero for WCU. I mean. That's probably WCU's, or that is one of WCU's best maps, and I mean, can't be upset. Isms taking the Oof. leaderboard by far. Twenty-six kills, nine deaths, and four assists. WCU gonna take five here, so we will do the same, and we'll be right back as we get into game two.
And we're back here for game two on Lotus. WCU leading 1-0 after that impressive showing from Ism. Ism's just popping off last round, and we do see a roster change coming in from ESU. Um, Zook swapping out for Berkey. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. WCU <laughs> definitely looked good as a team there, whereas ESU was slightly struggling. It looks like WCU is going to be going with just about the same loadout, maybe a different, a different character coming in from Isms. So, should be fairly interesting. I don't know why you'd switch. I mean, <laughs> you might as well if you're just going to have fun, right? I mean, I guess it does depend. I know there's different picks depending on the map band. So, five minute break means five minutes for Sean to do some homework. <laughs> I mean. If it's not the due date, it's not the due date. Like, if it's not due today, you don't have to do it yet. That's my <laughs> philosophy. Let's see. We have nine of our players locked in just waiting on one just from waiting ESU. On, just waiting on ah. ah. Ah, there it is. Ah, I ah. see. It only took about seven seconds, eh? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Noble and Ah both sharing one similarity, though. Neither of them have their schools, not their schools, abbreviation, I guess, in front of their name. Yeah, I don't. It's it's kind of like a tag, but not quite. I guess that's maybe the equivalent of a tag for Valorant, I suppose. I mean, I guess so. I would assume that you probably have to add that in yourself, which. It's okay, Noble. It's fine. We see you. <laughs> we see you. We don't like it, but we see you. Okay, so we have WCU starting on a defend, as ESU is starting on attack here on Lotus. If we ever loaded in, but there it is. Loading into Lotus, and here we go. We switch sides. Let's see. I got it. Well, you got to tab in first. That would probably be helpful. And WCU looking like they're going to push three onto A and one over to C. Again. One staying on B, not someone, not necessarily the most sought after place, but I mean, definitely can work out in your favor. If you just push one B and then you have three on one side trying to get a hard read on which side one team is going. And it will be pistol round again, so it's going to be very interesting to see how WCU does. So far, going 2-0 and oh in pistol rounds. As, oh, Boo gets a quick shot off on Berkey. Not a great start from Berkey to show <laughs> WCU how they're going to play this round. It's going to be a team fight here. Isn't getting Crouton. Ooh, gets May. It is now a 1 WCU on 2 ESU, but the WCU player is full health. Going from B over to A. I'm looking to try to. And here it is. Slump finds Hotshot and is going to be able to camp out on the spike. And Ah does get found by Slumped immediately. Or slump gets found by ah oh, my apologies got that a bit backwards as we try and get the scorecard here set up and it looks like that is just about good enough wcu losing the, p the pistol round for the first time this match I'm going up. i gotta wonder do you think that slump on that one just went ah as he got killed at the end <laughs> I think you probably said something a little more vulgar, but yeah, possibly. <laughs> I mean, Sean just sitting here needing to do the homework as much as he can. Okay. WC going to be sticking with all pistols here, not able to buy anything else. Boo finding off. And now WC going to be looking to try and defend, or WC collapsing in towards B as ESU does the same. Crouton planting a pretty smart option to do. Just get it off as fast as you can. Crouton finds Mixu. Oh, three kills coming from ESU there. It is now a two on three in favor of ESU. The spike has been planted and it's all up to Boo who gets found. I mean, unfortunate. 
Unfortunate indeed. We still have Ism leading the Mountaineers yet again. Whereas ESU is looking good as a team here. ESU wanting to look more like the team that WC was last round. So this very well could go to three games. That it could. Like I was saying earlier though, attacking is easier in my opinion. Because you have the element of surprise and you're pushing as a full team. Pushing as a unit is definitely the way to go, especially in a game like this where you have to plant. And defending, you really just can't do that. If you defend and push as a team, you could just guess wrong, and then you're just kind of out of luck there. Can't say the first part of that sentence is a little too strong for our Twitch channel, but... <laughs> <laughs> Looks like ESU is going to push the middle again. Ooh. Slumped, not knowing they're there, and turning around, unfortunately. And Mixu Ooh. does find May there. As ESU is going to go in and try and get the plant onto B. Slumped finds Crouton and Hotshot. The planter has been killed. Berkey finds Boo. Gets found by Mixu. And it is, I mean, WCU going to be able to hold off on this spike. Maybe just go to time here. And we have Aw just kind of holding his corners and defender's wand. Aw gets found by isms at the end of the round. Oh, and it looks like Aw got slightly dis or got a disconnect there. So the timer being paused once again. Disconnects coming from ESU. That is... Looks like he was able to hop in quickly, so... No, looks like Aw uh, might... Oh, no, there it is. Aw uh, is, in fact, moving once again. And WCU just trying to look at their corners, find out where ESU is going to be coming in from. One to two, not a bad start for WCU. No. Ooh, a snipe from Boo there. Takes out Berkey. Okay, we see you, Boo. I mean, Boo saw Berkey, so. <laughs> and it looks like ESU is going to push over on A. WCU a little bit at a disadvantage here. Slump does find Crouton. And A finds Mixu. So WCU now just waiting... Trying to see where they're going to push. It's going to be Isms finding Hotshot in the back. And finds May, so it's going to be all up to Awe, who does not have the... What's it called? Who does not have the spike, that's the word, and it doesn't matter as Isms does find Awe. I would not be wanting to go head-to-head -head against Isms tonight. No, Isms is just hot, hot, hot. Honestly, I wouldn't want to go against any of these players but yeah I mean, me neither, <laughs> but i don't really play shooters i play games where you can just spray and pray and it works <laughs> and that's if i play a game with guns that's a little bit weird of a spray paint but sure yeah it's like 3d that's that's unique that is very unique i'm not sure that was intentional good job boo <laughs> boo just having some fun tonight looking to just be just to enjoy his time it looks like ESU is going to push to B once again. Looking for that fast attack as all watches for that back line coming from A. And there goes the charge on to B. ESU looking to get the plant off. Noble finds A and Boo finds Crouton. Berkey does find Slump. Isms finds May. One enemy remaining. And Mix... Mixu finds hot shots, so that leaves one of ESU going back now to defender spawn. Does find Mi Berkey finds Mixu. Good pick there from Berkey. Ooh, Double gets kill. Boo. Now, Berkey oh my is gosh. coming in. Berkey on four kills right now. Oh, oh gets shut down by Noble as Berkey just about gets the team kill. I was 
That was exciting. I, I mean, I, I'm a WCU situation. fan, but that was almost a reverse sweep there for Berkey. That was almost a in. pinta for Berkey. Berkey now leads ESU with six kills as Ism is leading the Mountaineers with eight. And taking home at the bottom of the leaderboard is Crouton. Very opposite of what they were doing last time. A little bit stale performance this round coming out from Crouton. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> WCU you now up play, three to two. Play. In while they're defending something that, I mean that's gotta put you in a good mood. If defense, as you try. said, probably the harder aspect for this Mountaineer team, and they are succeeding right now against a team who is tied with them for second place. I'll find you. And it looks like ESU is going to be pushing over to A. It's getting real close. <laughs> and no one really wanting to overstep at the moment. This door opens. Oh, and it's... Oh, I thought he was activating it. I thought Crouton was opening that door. Mm -hmm. You never know. Something could happen here. It looks like it's just a firefight down the straight away. He, they have been detected, so... Crouton knows that they're on the other side of that door. And it looks like they can probably leave that door alone just so they don't have to deal with it. Oh, and there goes the door. The door is open. Oh, Ooh, shot through found. the tree. Who gets found by Berkey? Mixu finds hot shot. May finds Mixu. And now ESU has a spike again, but only 18 seconds oh. to get the plant. Crouton finds isms as they just turn away. There's now a two on four. In favor of ESU as they get the plant off, and it is now all on Slump. Slump finds May. Slump is very low in health in this 1v3. Ooh, gets. on this 1v2. Ooh. And now in this one on one, Slump going off. Looking to get the quad kill before Slump going into the Berkey. spike. Oh, oh, and it's looking too high. Slumped was looking at that high ground. That was an interesting play there. By Ooh, and now we have a competition of fans in the chat. Cameraman, he's saying, boo is my bae, what a nut. I mean, he goes a little <laughs> crazy sometimes. That is fair. Boo's, boo's looking all right. I mean, most of WCU now has like is above leaderboard position of ESU, which I don't know if that says more to ESU's lack of ability to find kills or WCU's ability to get the picks off where they need to. I will say it was a good sub uh, for ESU taking Zook out and putting Berkey in as Berkey is now leading ESU with nine kills. I don't even remember where Zook was last time, but like you said, that Zook sub was working very well. Zook was at the bottom of the charts for ESU. So. And speaking of the charge for ESU, they're hard pushing onto C out of the gate. No one from WCU ready for it as WCU makes their way over from A and B. Crouton getting the plant off here. Spike planted. Isms finds Berkey, but now WCU has to go on a bit more of an aggressive approach. He needs to find, needs to find kills very fast, and also needs to find the uh, what's it called? Spike. Spike. That's the word. And there's a defender killjoy about to go off. I don't know if ESU is entirely prepared for it. Boo finds Ah. Slump is working on the defuse right now. Looks like WCU is gonna get the defuse here. They get the defuse plenty right of in, time. Right in front of ESU as well. That was a bold move from WCU trying to get those like trying to get that defuse off in the middle of the round before there was even a fight. Most of ESU is still staying alive. I mean, matter of fact, both teams mostly staying alive in that round. You don't really see that too much. No, you don't. Honestly, WCU just did a good job pushing in to where ESU wanted to essentially back off a point so they didn't die instantly. And by doing so, WCU just went straight for the spike and diffused. I mean, you might as well. If it's going to work, it's going to work. I, I don't know what this play is, but I'm, I'm excited. Let's see it, Boo. Oh, okay. Maybe no, not. Boo was hesitating, and I think that that... Oh, no, oh, maybe. Okay, okay. Is Boo going to... Boo? There oh. it is. Oh, oh, good job, Giants, Boo. Two people. I, okay, Cam, Louie, I, I see why, why Boo is your bae. Oh, that's Cam, gotcha. <laughs> a 
Looks like most of WCU are posting up on C. See, this is what I do like about ESU is their change of pace. You know, one point they will hard push, one point they're slow play, and it definitely keeps WCU on their toes. I do think that is a benefit in a game like this where the pace will always change, but if you can control that pace, then you are going to be better off. We do see a Prowler destroyed. Ooh, something shot out of the hands of Isms there. Ooh. I mean, something shot out of the head of Isms as May finds them with a headshot. I mean, it's four on five in favor of ESU as they're going to make a move on to C. You need to get that spike plant really, really soon. Ooh. Slump finds one to make it four on four, but gets found by May very quickly. Ooh, and Mixu finds Crouton. Ooh. Mixu finding May now. Oh my gosh, Mixu with triple getting awe. And that is... Almost, oh my gosh, Mixu with a quad kill, finding hot shot at the end of the round. Mixu quickly climbs to the leaderboard, now tied for second. Mixu's just trying to win back Sean Glade's love. I gotta wonder, is this a play <laughs> for Sean coming from WCU? Okay, so we have WCU leading here 5-3, to three, and WCU is defending, so definitely in favor of WCU. They're, this is a best of three series. Ooh, Boo. Boo's going for Ooh. it again, the trick shot. We'll see, we'll see what Ooh, he does. Ooh, Mixu gets a snipe onto Aw. Door destroyed there from, I believe it was Boo. Boo now going to be going in on a fight. Gets taken out. But we do see Noble coming to try and support. Now it looks like three, two of ESU are going to be going over towards A, two towards B, C area. Isms finds Berkey. And it looks like it might be a push onto B hmm, from ESU. Oh, May finds Isms there. Noble finds Hot Shot. And May, Crouton finds Slump, so it's now up to Crouton. It is now a one-on-one -on -one between Mixu and Crouton, and the spike is down. So WC needs to get the get the defuse, and then get the kill, or get the kill first, which they do. Mixu finds Crouton there. Mixu and Ism are now tied. Sean, what are you gonna do? I don't know if Sean's going to stay on <laughs> Team Isms or switch back over to Team Mixu. Right now, Mixu looking like they really want to carry the Mountaineers to victory and put them up as far as possible as we get closer and closer to this swap. And there's going to be a timeout coming from ESU once again. Time to go into the Astro Fall? WCU no, not really using their timeouts ever. No. They do not. <laughs> I think no, they just like to every keep once playing. in a while. Every once in a while, if they're if they're losing and it's coming close to the end of the game, I have seen them use it once or twice. But yeah, WCU is kind of just going with the flow. So and Emporia State, I think here is just trying to find a way to change momentum, not thinking that they're going to have this much trouble against Western's defensive force. I mean, WCU has gone three and three so far in terms of just defensive stretches and they don't have to go too much further once they hit attack and their attack is what we like earlier we saw that was much stronger than what they could defend absolutely so it's definitely looking good in favor of wcu but still plenty of time for esu to come back and make this a close one i mean plenty of time and no lead is a safe lead until the game is over that is true and here we go we're back to the action 15 seconds until this round starts are we going to see another trick shot attempt from boo i hope so here we go playing with this playing with the sword and boo now looking at the ground Ooh. going for another trick shot maybe which way? Where is Boo gonna go for I've it? Got your trail. Oh, the correct way. See if it works. Finds a few people. 
but it looks like all of ESU, aside from their no, or from their someone. Yeah, that was a hard push from ESU. Again, switching up the pace, going for that early push, so. I think right now what ESU needs to do, which has been working against this Western defense, is go for that fast early push. Ism finds May out of the gate. And Berkey, there's two kills now for Isms. Mixu finding Ah. It is now a one, it is now a four on one as Slump finds Crouton. Both Mixu and Slump getting found there. Who going for the defuse and Ism gets that final kill. Going up two kills over Mixu. Ooh. <laughs> Battle for the top of the leaderboard, but you can't count Slump out now with nine kills. I mean is true. Getting close. WCU has seven game or seven rounds to ESU's three. Only six more needed for w for Western to win the series, not just the game. Is Boo gonna go for another trick shot? Let's see. Will it be ten or eleven <laughs> rounds in a row for Boo going with this trick shot? I mean, Western's defense right now looking really strong and sturdy. Looks like another hard push from ESU going up that left side, pushing C. And Boo misses the check with the haunt, gets no one. Boo gonna look to try and backline here. Ooh, some just getting away, blind firing. I mean, has to spray and pray as they move over. Move out of the danger zone. Yes, you getting a fairly Fight quick plant here. Ooh, off finds isms. Mixu finds ah. This Both slump weird. and Mixu found by Crouton. So now it is a two on four in favor of ESU. Ooh. Ooh. Correction, two on two in honestly right now in favor of Western. Those were some good flicks by Boo. I thought he I thought he was gonna miss. I mean Boo's experience yeah. here coming in as a player or as a shooter player gets a pen or gets a triple here looking for the quad on Berkey if they can Berkey very low oh just misses everyone it's gonna be a, there's gonna be Berkey showing up gets boo quickly unfortunate Berkey playing really well there honestly just kind of countering whatever wherever boo was looking honestly yeah. it was kind of random but Boo just got unlucky, went up just a little bit too late, doesn't find Berkey sitting around the corner. And, I mean, Boo showed up a little bit too late to get that defuse anyway. Yeah, Berkey is leading ESU with 10 kills. Thank you. And Sean here throwing Noble into the mix. Maybe wanting to try out Noble as well. <laughs> but WCU up 7-4, to four, one round before the swap. It looks like there will be a pickoff from Isms there, and maybe one from Mixu. It's gonna be a fight in the middle for B. WCU up five on three. Four on three. Three on three as May is going off, getting two quick kills on Western there. Noble starting to defuse. Gets taken down by Hotshot. Mixu gets taken out by May. It is going to be all up to Boo, who gets found very quickly. 7 to 5. Still in favor of WCU, but a little bit of a comeback starting from ESU. Yeah, yeah they that, was, that was a good play there by ESU. I'm not going to lie. They honestly just held it out. I mean, they got the spike and then they got to a vantage point where they could still see into where they were, mm -hmm. where WCU was trying to defuse. So, a little bit of patience there from. ESU. Not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so we now have WCU on the attack. And we are back to the pistol round. Boo just going ham there. Don't know what Boo's doing, but we never know what Boo's doing. Taking a look at the leaderboard, we still have Ism leading the Mountaineers and the field with 14 kills and 8 deaths. Mixu is still coming in at second in the field at 12, and 
then it's a three-way tie from ESU for that third place, all of them having 10. May and Mixu get a trade, or May finds Mixu but gets taken out by Isms. Boo gonna get the plant here quickly on to C. And it is a four on four for the end of this round. Western now gonna set up some defensive positioning. Finds, Isms finds Crouton going for a grenade. He's playing patiently. Hotshot looking to get around the corner. Finds Isms. Noble finds Hotshot though, Boo finds Berkey, and ah, that is going to be an 8-5 lead. Mountaineers need 5 more wins to take the series. Isms up to 16 kills. Ooh. May up to 11 now. Yeah, May and Crouton coming out of nowhere and passing Berkey. I mean, Berkey though is still right up there with the both of them. Absolutely. This is definitely a much uh, more even matchup than we saw last game. I gotta say, though, a little bit of struggle coming from ESU there. ESU, their best players are at a 1-0 KD. Western's worse at the moment are at a 1-0. Gotta wonder if that's going to be making the difference. The mix are gonna be spraying and praying does find May through that crowd. Or through that cloud, my apologies. Sean asking if they can buy an Isms replica esports jersey for their wall. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> for the cheap, cheap price of forty dollars, you can get that shipped to your PO or to your CPO box at the apartment complex. I need it. Now it is just hot shot here. 1v4 situation, Hotshot getting a you. kill. Ooh. Gets picked off by Slump, though. I mean, started to have some momentum, but just an immediate pick there from Slump. Yeah, WCU now leading 9-5 to five here. Very, very close. Going into this 15th round. I should play some Astro Star. WCU with some pretty cool uh, camos on their guns. You gotta have fun where you can, right? Absolutely. That, that's a little aquarium. That is a little aquarium. There's an octopus on that site. I don't think that that octopus is helping you spot things at all. I'm sure when that gun's fired, those fish do not like it. Probably not. It. Unless they like hot tubs. <laughs> Ooh, Berkey does find Mixu, gets found by Isms, and Hotshot trading there with Isms. Just a small firefight here on B. A little bit bigger, though, as Off finds Boo, Noble finds Crouton, Off finds Noble, <laughs> Slump just trying to snipe here, gets Ah, but May takes them down. It would have been a one-on-two had Slump stayed alive, but... Yeah, good round there for ESU. Now only three off of WCU. WCU, though, only four away from closing out the night. I think WCU might have this in the back here if they can just trade each round one to one. Play it a bit slower, but, I mean, if you play it a bit slower, you can still be much more successful. I think right now ESU trying to control the pace on defense. And they're taking a note from WCU's book. Two on A, two on C, one on B. That way most can collapse inward if the need is there, or if the need arises. But until that point happens, Western just gonna play it a bit more patiently, go try and get some picks before they move in on A. No damage going towards either team. Nothing in favor of either team either. And as I say that, there might be a fight here. Ooh. Hotshot picks off Isms. Noble gets Berkey. Ooh! It's Hotshot finds Boo. Slump finding Pluton. Mixu finding Hotshot now. Slump finding May. So it is all up 
two. Ah, Noble is getting the plant off though. Gonna be a two on one, forcing Ah to try and push this point unless they decide to just retreat, take the loss and take the reset. I think Ah's gonna gonna fight it here. Ah's gonna certainly try. I mean, you don't really have another choice. Gonna play it low and slow as they see the spike waiting for the peak from Western. Teleport's ready. <laughs> oh, I was about to walk into something. <laughs> yeah, I was about to walk into all Oof. of Western. A turret and two, <laughs> and two people. That is just unfortunate. WC not only needs three wins to take the series, 10 to six right now. Boo playing with his sword once again. And it certainly is a statement I can make. <laughs> Isms taking it top of the leaderboard with 18 kills. Slump and Mixu tied at 15. Boo with 11 and Noble at 8, as opposed to ESU's May taking the lead with 12. Hotshot and Berkey with 11. And Crouton, I think, still only has 10. Crouton with 10 and Ah with 7. Ah looking to be the lowest in the game at the moment. There. Get out of my little, way. I mean, they seem to be middle of the pack last round, so it's a little surprising to see them that low. Ooh, Crouton's just hiding around that box. Don't know if Isms is ready for it. Oh. Oh, and Crouton takes out Slump and Isms. Good play there by Crouton, just oh waiting it out. I mean, Isms and Mixu both keep seeming, or it looks like WCU just in general. Ooh, Noble just getting away from that attack or from that shot. We are in a three v five here. WCU down. I forget what I was trying to say. Oh yeah, WCU seeming to have the issue of not being able to quickly look at way or just barely looking away from where they need to, right as they're about to go somewhere. I mean, you can't know where the opponents are in any match or without the observer mode. Yes, you. Or Mixu does find Hotshot. Boo finds May. Mixu finds Crouton. Berkey taking down Mixu, but is now a two on two. Western also going to get the spike planted here, so it's just a matter of who's going to win this fight. And it looks like there is going to be Ah coming around the back. Gets a shot off on Noble. It is all up to Boo. Boo in a one versus two situation here as the spike gets closer and closer to going off. Boo looking for someone to try and attack that spike. And there's going to be the challenge. Aug is taken out. And Berkey's going to get the kill on Boo and going to have plenty of time to defuse the spike. And ESU will take that round. 10 to 7 lead for the Mountaineers. Sean saying... His girlfriend wants to come over, but he's too dedicated to this Valorant grind. I like it. Sean with his priorities straight. Wants to support <laughs> his fellow Mountaineers that are gamers. Phenomenal support here from our Western team. Absolutely. And we still have Ism in the lead with Mixu right behind at 17. They were fighting for Sean's love. Looks like there's going to be a quick fight here. May does take out Mixu. WCU looking to push C for the time being. And, ooh. ooh. Isms almost gets taken out by Ah. Noble picks them off instead. Noble finds someone and then finds Crouton. Crouton does find Slumped. It's going to... WCU needs to get this spike and get it planted. May now a little bit lower on health than they probably want to be. It is now a three versus two in favor of ESU. Berkey finding isms is just as I was about to say something. Ooh, Noble switched over to the knife at the wrong time. And it looks like... ESU is gonna take round 18. They're making this a game. ESU now within two. Within two of tying it up, within five of winning the entire thing. I mean, right now it's still just a one-to-one -one trade after the swap. 
WCU will have the lead going into this round, but the momentum has started to shift going towards ESU once again. That it has. WCU could use a timeout here. Could use a timeout, oh, but no. I think they <laughs> may just try and keep rolling it. Yeah, I feel like if they lose another one or two maps, this could be uh, one, of the, one of the first few timeouts we've seen WCU take. One of the first few timeouts we see him take, but definitely the first that I believe will be casted. Yes. WCU again kind of pushing C. They seem to like going that way. I think they like C a lot more, but I mean, there is that quick passage over to B. And we see that it is going to be Slump just waiting in the corner for the rest of his team to catch up. Ooh. Oh. Ah, C's Noble. Ah, C's Noble. Noble does not see Ah. Ah's running away. Noble does not know that, but. I mean, we do see Mixu and Isms going back to try and support that back line just in case the rest of ESU decides to come in and pop in for a surprise visit. Looks like there might be a rotation over to B here from Western. Yeah, we see WCU slow playing in, which we haven't seen in a while, so. I mean, now Western taking a play out of ESU's book instead of the other way around. And could the solution to this matchup be to defeat your enemy, you must become your enemy? I think the smartest idea here would be for Slump to try and push Solo over to A. Ooh, and Crouton finds Boo quickly. And Western is now going to hard push on B. Slump is going to plant the spike with 10 seconds remaining. Isms finds Crouton. Crouton is just knocked down, though. Mixu does find Hotshot. Isms finding May. Berkey finding Isms. Three on three. And there it is. WCU now up 11 to 8. Two rounds away from victory. Ooh, Isms and Mixu both with 20 kills and 14 deaths. Isms leading with six assists, whereas Mixu only has one. I mean, makes you seeming to be more of a solo player. Isms looking to try and just be there with the team a bit more. And I think that's just showing off to their strengths. Mixu playing better on their own. Isms playing better with one or two others. Absolutely. It's always good to have a good roamer in Valorant. So, WCU now two wins away from closing out the night 2-0. We are an hour and a half into this matchup, I just want to mention. For only four games, that's a pretty hefty... Or for only three, a best of three series being a game and a half in, or just over a half. WCU up now 5-4 to four in terms of people... Never mind, 4-3-2. to <laughs> th three to two. A lot of, a lot of changes here. Yeah, that just went really fast, and... Ooh, there goes Boo. We have a 2v2 now. 2v2, but still in WCU's favor. Yes, you're going to have to push onto this spike and defuse it with Crouton already being low on HP as is. And, I mean, gets shut down from getting any more for that possibly quad or penta. It is now all up to May, who does find Mixu. So we have a 1v1 spike planted. Slumped, activating the door, hopefully trying to... Confuse May. And it looks like there's going to be a slight attempt at a defuse there from May. Slump does not buy it, and May gets the kill. But are they going to have time to defuse? They no! Will not. WCU takes it. Going mm. up 12 to 8 here. There was 1.4 seconds. Point. One round is all it takes. WCU needs one round. They need to go one for five here, or one for four. And Defender's going to call a timeout, a much-needed timeout, as this could be the end to their night. That WCU is struggling could. to stay in this match. WCU one point away from clinching that second-place spot in the division. I mean, right now, if you were in the voice chat with Western, what do you say? What do you tell your team? What do you tell your the people who you're playing with? What do you tell the people who are trying to just get that one win? Honestly, just 
kind of keep doing what you're doing. Don't get in your heads, you know, like what's what you have been doing is working. Uh, even if ESU makes some pretty drastic changes, I still see this going in favor of WCU. I mean, like I said, WCU needs to get one win in four losses, and like at most four losses. I think they're going to get it right here. This next round, WCU is going to close it out. I mean, I I would hope so. <laughs> it's not that I don't like casting or being here to help out with the stream, but... The real question, is it going to be Ism or Mixu winning the kill count? That's <laughs> that's what we're worried about. Not will Western win. <laughs> Who on Western is going to win the kills? WCU doing a heavy push up the middle there. And it looks like ESU is going to try and collapse in. They don't really have another choice. And Ooh. Western going to back out, bait them all into the middle, going to push either A or C now. Uh, the, looks split. Probably over to okay. C. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're pushing Ooh, C. Ooh, and Ha oh, gets a pick on Mixu. It's going to stun WCU there. Maybe qu make them question which way they want to push. So Ism. If Ism gets one kill and WCU wins, Ism will win this kill count. And May has disconnected. Oh, no. That is big. That is a huge loss for ESU. That it is. And it's middle of a round. I don't know if you're going to be able to do anything. Crouton there ready. Slump finds, or Slump gets found. Boo does find Crouton. This is a 3v4, but if May is disconnected, then it is a 3v3. It's a three on three to decide the game. An unfortunate. Oh, and Isms gets taken out by Hotshot. Boo Ooh. finding Hotshot here, planting the spike. Could Boo be the hero that Western needs? Noble finds Berkey. And Boo now gonna try and force Ah to play on the spike, waiting for that reach around. And May just sitting AFK here in B. And Boo now. Maybe gonna an odd ah, just around the corner. Some shots coming in from Noble. Boo waiting. And Noble finds Ah. It is all between Noble and May. May still disconnected. That is going to be game. Because ESU can't do anything. That is a DS or that is a disconnect that decides the game. That is or that decides this game in which decides the series is what i was trying to say uh, it is congratulations to wcu i mean that's an unfortunate way to win i would i feel that's a little like that's a little harsh having just had such a well-fought game especially from someone like may on esu who came in and just showed western how things were especially in those big in those big team fights but as we say, that is that is a we take those. You don't ask how, but you ask how many. And right now, WCU, four to one wins to losses on the season. Absolutely. With that win, they will clinch, not clinch, but currently hold the second place slot in the division. So looking good so far this season for WCU Valorant. I mean, they just seem to keep getting better and better each game as they figure out how they want to play with one another and can't ask for too much more than that. It's exciting. I'm excited for to watch them throughout the rest of this season. Just finishing up week five in this week nine series, and then going into playoffs after that. So we will. I don't know if this is the case for Valorant, but next week is Western Spring Break. Quite possible that we don't see Valorant next week. I believe Valorant is going to be playing on Friday. Not sure if we'll be able to stream it or not yet, but. We will see. But with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. I am JoJo's Mojo. And I'm Mountain Man. Have a good night.